Good morning folks, welcome along to the vlog. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We'll be going out of the brewery to a Redford's Town Hall where there's going to be an event on this weekend to commemorate Remembrance Sunday. So a few years ago I was contacted by a chap called Gary Clarkson who at the time was Redford's Mayor and he works very closely with one of my cousins, Glenn, who spent a lot of time in the forces back in his day and they came to see me when I was working at Idle Valley Brewery and asked if I'd be willing to get involved and provide some beer for the event. So ever since then, when I've been able to, I've spoke to Gary and we've arranged to deliver some of our beer and put it on the town hall for the veterans. So what we're gonna do today is go out there we're going to assess what facilities that the town hall actually has and then we're going to be installing hopefully a keg of our beer so that it can be served on Sunday. Now I've done this in the past so what I'm going to do is take you with us while we set the whole bar up and hopefully in the background here we've got a cask of beer which is sat clearing and the plan is that we're going to use that cask of beer to repackage and fill up a keg meaning that the keg is able to be moved should it need to be before Sunday because chances are it will be moved and if it was a cask of beer then it would disturb the sediment so we're going to repackage it like that so before I go there's also a couple more things I want to touch upon while I've got your attention firstly a big thanks to all the patron supporters the money that you've provided for us this month is going to go a long way towards making sure that the channel stays active and over there I've put up a Q&A so it's basically an ask me anything kind of thing if you want to follow the link in the description go over to Patreon you can ask me all the Q&A questions there I know a lot of people leave questions in the comments and I don't always get time to answer them nip over there leave the comment in the Q&A post and I'll get round to it after the date that I've put on there has passed. And then secondly, Harrison's Brewery has been nominated for a Best Artisan Producer Award in North Knotts. It's not something we've been in for in the past, but we've been nominated for the brewery and we've also been nominated for Best Hospitality Award for the brew shed so there's a link at the top of the description just down below where you can go right now do it right now and uh, vote for both the brew shed and Harrison's Brewery in their respective categories and uh, you need a Google account so we've got you on YouTube already you should be signed into your Google account it's pretty easy click that link below we've got over 10,000 subscribers to this channel and if everybody, even just half of those people did this, we'd win it with a landslide. And whilst you're there, our next door neighbours, Iron Tree Designs, are also up for a retail award as well. You may as well give them a little tick in the box while you're there. Sharing's caring, as they say. Right, it's in the description. Click it, follow it, vote, please. Now we're going to go and take the camera off the tripod. And we're going to go out to the town hall and hopefully we'll be serving that beer to the veterans of Bassett Law or Redford if you like, Bassett Law. So Stuart's just been in and informed me that we've got a wobbly hand pump on the bar. So before we uh, go and do our recce mission to the town hall, I'm just going to nip upstairs in the pub and hopefully repair or put right what's uh, what's gone wrong. So I've come armed with some tools. Hello. Hello. Stuart tells me that we've got a wobbly pump. It's numero uno. What does that say? Do not connect any business. <laughs> so what's going wrong with it? There's no. There's Oh, it's, I know what it is. So I think... It was like going halfway last weekend. Yeah. Um, but then I came in yesterday, so I was like, yeah, don't do anything with that. Right. <laughs> yeah. 
Was this the one that was really loose as well? Or is that number three? Possibly. Right, I think I know what it is. Let's take it off. Right, so what's happened? What happened was this connecting rod here has disconnected from the uh, the cylinder, from the piston in the cylinder. So first things first is I'm just going to take off. This is definitely a two-handed job, like lads. I'm just going to take off this cover, and there you can see a manky old. Uh, cylinder but fear not this is just the cooling jacket on the outside of it where the staff cannot get to and there is the rod which has indeed come out of place that little fella there so what we're going to do is just pop that back in wondering if there might be a circle clip on one end that's meant to hold it in there if not uh, well we'll just have to shove it in for now and then that should be uh, problem solved, essentially. There we go, so the rod's back in, the cover's back on, she's all fixed, folks. Just like that. So that's another one off the list. Now let's go down to the town hall and see exactly what we've got going on down there. Hmm. Just noticed somebody had been pinching my tools, look. Cheeky. A wee bit windy, so there's beer heads up the road there, and uh, this is the town hall. Let's go and have a look if there's anybody in. Oh, it is open. Look, aye, it's a big old venue, isn't it, Gem? We'll have a look if we so we're back, and uh, well, I'm going to take the cannon with me when we go back to the town hall, which will be shortly. So basically, they don't have a bar, and uh, we're going to make one for them. They do have an undercounter chiller though, and a couple of these. So I've taken this one. We're going to clean it up, tart it up, put Harrison's Brewery badge on it, and uh, make it look the part for, oh hello, there we go, for uh, for the weekend, for the troops, uh, but we, yeah, we need to clean this all up first, make sure it works, and then we also have to provide a regulator, CO2, you know, I'm doing all this free of charge as well, but like I say, it's for a good cause, so near bother lad, but it's a little bit more work than I anticipated originally, but you know, Never mind, let's just get on the job, get it done, and then we'll take you with us once we've transferred this beer into a keg, and we'll go and set it up in the town hall. Right, so we've repackaged 40 litres of the best bitter. We've captured 30 litres into that keg there, and I also managed to get what was left in a mini keg. You know where that's going, don't you? My belly. That's right. So what we've done, is um, I've put some restrictor line on this beer tap, some 3 16 and then that jumps onto the normal size stuff, you know, the 3 8 which terminates here. And that's to go into their remote chiller, which they've already got on site. And then to connect the keg to the remote chiller, we've got that fitting in the bottom here. We'll cut this line to length when we get there. That doesn't need to be insulated because that's before the remote chiller then we've got this little uh, container which contains cleaning fluid you just hook up your uh, keg line to this once everything's connected and then we'll just run the cleaning fluid through the system and then follow it up with water and then finally we're going to take this keg uh, sorry, gas cylinder, which I've just pressure tested and it's not dropped at all, so that's good to go. We're going to sort of take that with us and tie wrap it to a table leg when we get there so it doesn't get knocked over, and that will provide the pump assistance, if you will, to push the beer out the keg and to that font tap there. 
So I just need to grab some tie wraps, put this on the van, eat some yummy stew. Yes, look at that. And then go back to the town hall. Right, we're just tootling off round to, uh, to the town hall, which is only a short drive from the brewery and uh, past the Idle Valley Tap, folks, believe it or not. There it is, just in the background, look. So yeah, we're gonna nip round there. Shout, shout upstairs for the town hall manager man. Forgot his name though. Adrian. It's not Adrian. No. I think it's Ed or something. And then uh, yeah, we're gonna cart everything upstairs and hopefully get some footage. Right, we're at the we're at the tradesman's entrance to the town hall, and Gemma's gonna go and see if we can find any life. There's two police cars there, so that proves that there's not much life at all. Here we are. He's gonna let us in now, look. We've got him. Here he is, look. My old mucker. Oh, he's forgot his keys. Has he forgot his keys? He's taken his lanyard off with his card on. He oh dear me. It. Can't get bloody staff. So we're in the town hall lift. Not many people get to do this, Jen. It's got three doors. It's got, it's got three, three doors, doors look. I've yeah. never been in the three door lift. Slow and steady. Wins the race. There we are. Well, hello. And we're in. Right, so this is the chiller that they've got for us. So we will need to bridge out this connection here to prevent um, the cleaning, uh, the cooling fluid going round and round. So if I take a bit of that pipe, we're going to go in that one. We'll go in orange and we'll come out orange. So that. Well, you want to bring us that CO2 cylinder around, please, Gemma? Put that there. And then. We'll have that into that. And then there we go. So that's formed a loop. Then we're going to have. That's off a an electric cover that is. Then we want to have CO2. Need any of the people? Um no, I need the pipe. All that pipe work please. So we're gonna go from the keg and this cleaning bucket is acting as our temporary keg just pretending like and we're gonna go first line to the cooler so we'll put that there so that clear line can go and we're gonna go in orange and then this line, hold on I'll give you that, this line needs to go to the gas, so we rig this up to the steel too. There we go, I'll stand that there for now. And then we want the beer line, and a bucket. Beautiful. So if you want to hold that near the bucket, this is going to go in our orange out segment. And we're going to turn on the 
the gas. Let's just see what the pressure we're at. I think one bar will be enough. Yeah, open the tap. Then we should get cleaning fluid flowing through the whole system and out there. There we are, look. Look at that. There's not much pressure. to line I've got on it. Yeah, she's coming. She's buzzing around the coil. There we go. If I connect the body tap right, it might work a bit better. There we go on. Well, the needle's screwing a bit at the top, is that too? too far down. Now it's this. It's coming though, isn't it? Take my hat off, it's getting a bit warm. There we go. We may as well run all this cleaner through, haven't we, for what it's worth. Right, well, we just need to rinse the whole thing and then we'll get it set up. And there we go, this is it. We've got a bit of a bar, the best on and we've got the cake and everything set up ready for Sunday. Sneaky peek. Looks good mate. So there we go folks. That's that good deed for the day done. Uh, it was nice to work with the guys at the town hall as well. Uh, it was Eddie the chap who actually helped us put the bar together. I didn't even know that that was there, so big thumbs up to him. There were other people in there as well, setting up the whole shebang for Remembrance Sunday, so of course I couldn't pull the camera out too much and film it uh, for obvious reasons, uh, but we managed to get a couple of sneaky shots in there as well, but normally I have to be quite incognito with the filming at such locations, as you probably know. So we managed to get a 30 litre keg out of this cask and a five litre mini keg which I'll take home for myself tonight and then there is definitely some beer left in this tank which I don't really want to see go to waste. I'm going to go ahead now and pour a beer from the cask provided there's any left in here. I can't guarantee that. And I think it's also been tapped today, so it may be just a little bit lively. I'm not sure yet, we'll see. And if it's not lively, then I'll manipulate the glass somewhat to try and give it a bit of a head. So let's open her up and have a look. And we can see that, yeah, there's some condition in there all right. And this doesn't need manipulating, as they say. So look at that, folks. That's what we call, it's not from the wood, but traditionally it would be known as beer from the wood and look how clear that is. Isn't that just wonderful? So this is Harrison's best and uh, quite frankly yes, even though it is a traditional best bitter, it is one of my best beers and it's, uh, it's only second to the vacant gesture in terms of sales and production. Very, very good beer indeed though. I don't know if I've shared the recipe for this one but I may just do that in the future. So I'm gonna dive in and have a slurp, folks.
Mm. Oh, that is excellent. Well, anyway, guys, thanks for joining me on this vlog. Don't forget, please go to the description there and vote for us for North Knots Business Awards. We are in uh, artisan, um, artisan producers category, I think it is, and the hospitality category. And then while you're there, like I said, please give a vote for Iron Tree Designs. They're in a separate category though, but uh, it will definitely help us, fingers crossed, pick up the award. And uh, yeah, cheers for tuning in guys. We'll see you on the next one. I'm gonna enjoy this pint of Best Bitter and uh, get ready for the weekend, because it is Friday after all. See you on the next one. <laughs>